Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. So you're looking for the one, are you? Or perhaps you're thinking you've already found them. How do you know? Well, there are some things that can change in our lives when we're truly in love with someone romantically. Our thoughts, actions, and brain's chemical reactions can all change with love, especially when we found the one. So here are a few things that may happen when you found the one. Number one, your brain changes when you love them. Do you get an unexplainable euphoric surge of happiness when you think of someone, this particular someone who you think might be the one? Hmm, wonder why? A 2007 study from researchers at Stony Brook University found that your biochemical reactions in your brain can change in a particular way when you're thinking of someone you truly love. Your happiness is likely explained by the boost in dopamine, and your reward system is getting all this great attention too. So try thinking of the one, as in the one you may be thinking could be the one. Just uh, think of someone. Feeling euphoric? Happy? Overindulging in these thoughts? This could be a sign of real attachment, or you could just have an extremely strong crush. Ask them out or take it easy, my friend. Number two, you can't wait for your family to meet them. Do you imagine your family and friends meeting them? Do you get excited by the thought of it? If you're really serious about someone, then you'll likely want the ones you already love in your life to meet your partner, even if you're not partners yet. You might wanna bring along your family member or friends to an event to catch a glimpse of this person. Casual relationships don't often involve a formal introduction to family members. So if both of you have expressed interest in meeting each other's family, this is a good sign your relationship is not only getting serious, but if they have even more of these signs, they could just be the one. According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you haven't, and at the end of the video you enjoy what you see, do consider subscribing. It would help a lot with YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content. Thanks for being here. Number three, you feel in sync and harmonious with them. Do you feel in sync with your partner? Simply harmonious and connected. Life coach Olga Lavankuka explained in an article from Fashion Beans that scientists have found that some couples are so in tune that their brains begin to work in sync. That means they've reached a state in which their nervous systems are ticking over in harmony, helping them to read each other's thoughts and emotions. Ask yourself, do my partner and I simply get each other? Are we more spiritually and emotionally connected than our past relationships? This could be because they're the one. Number four, you're comfortable and don't wanna control your feelings or words with them. Something else that happens when you found the one? After you've known them for a while, you lower your defenses and are simply comfortable with them. You don't alter your words, worrying about what to say or do, you're simply you, unapologetically and with ease. If they're the same, even more of a good sign. Number five, you find their unfunny jokes funny. Has this person you're thinking of ever told an extremely unfunny joke, but you laughed like a drunk hyena at a comedy club? Then you may have just found the one, or you really, really like them. Because how funny could a joke about a chicken crossing the road be? It's a classic, yeah, but you get my point. Keep noticing later that you're the only one laughing at their jokes, while others simply smile on. Yeah, they may just be your special someone. And number six, it's no longer just I. Your life plans and dreams include them too. Have you gone from saying I to we more often when talking about your future? Social psychologist Teresa E. Didonato explains in her article from Psychology Today that people who are close use plural words like we more frequently in conversation than singular pronouns like I or me. The kinds of feelings that suggest love are likely accompanied by a tendency to use plural pronouns. So you notice you've been using plural words more often, especially when talking about interests, dreams, goals. Has your life plan also changed because of this person? Do your dreams for the future include them? This is yet another thing that is likely to happen when you found your one and only. Have you found the one for you yet? Do you think you've met the one recently? Or maybe you think it's your partner? Feel free to share with us in the comments down below. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.